Athletes hang out with athletes. Car guys hang out with car guys. Gamers hang out with gamers. But you mean to tell me your friends are and you aren't? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck. It's this shoe. Yeah. That is definitely the problem. Guy provides for me and I don't pay for anything. Right. And he's like, I'm going out with my boys. Who the fuck am I to tell him you can't? He's going to be like, bitch, shut up. I pay for everything. And then that's where and I'm going. Like is, is that a problem? I don't like that. You feel fine? You know, I no, feel no, fine. No. I I'm fine. I, Maybe I'm she should my, excuse herself. John's one of my shut good up, mates. John. No, what I was going to say. Women are way too comfortable I was... talking to men like that nowadays. I, I'll tell you. It's just. We need I mean, Sean Connery back. Listen, John. Hey, listen, John. John. Listen, John. I'm married with two kids. What are you? Oh. 21 and equally successful. Being married and having a family is a good thing. I'm not sure if it's something to show off to a guy, though. On my birthday, I seen them all at Dre's, like this one team. Okay. She's so shy. It's just so cute, <laughs> I know, baby. I it. And I don't know. I was getting fucked in a hotel room. They all pulled up <laughs> and I sucked their Put dick. Put the down The whole team. Seven. Seven basketball players in a row? Mm hmm. What? What the fuck? How was that? <laughs> I was fucked oh up. God. I didn't fuck any of them though. She's in... What happened to the nuts? Swallowed. All of them. Yeah. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? And also, you were getting no. fucked by somebody else right before this? Yeah, they walked in <laughs> mid me getting fucked. How did they walk the in? Where were you? In the hotel room. So I was fucking like someone that works with the team. And I know, I know that team because I've hooked up with them before. You see, now coming across this and the way I grew up, it almost seems like a joke. Utterly unbelievable. And the fact that it's something that she's so confident and proud of speaking about. <sighs> and with a little extra research and hearing her speak some more, you start to understand that this is just a damaged person. Some know me as the throw goat. Some know me as the <laughs> semen demon. Some know me as the glizzy gobbler. Well, what? bitch, or the Greek freak. Also, AJ, Eliza, whatever you want to call me, I embody it. I love it. I'm an OnlyFans bitch. I love to suck dick. And I'm here to ruin his life tonight. Let's go. Fresh, 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 fresh. <laughs> you must have some kind of spray disinfectant. Or <laughs> I could just... <laughs> I'm not even sure any disinfectant can clean this mess. But even more shocking is the fact that some men out there looked at this woman and decided this could be the mother of my child. And hey, I don't know her, I don't know her personality. But taking her at her own word, you can't blame me for wondering what kind of life will that child have. The reason why I don't like it is because he is sending a message out to those girls who are going to get that like and be like, oh, he's interested. Because that is essentially what you're doing. Okay, let me ask you a question. I've had a look at your Instagram profile. Okay. How many photos do you have on there, would you say? Oh God, I don't know, like 400 or something? How many of them have you posted with your boyfriend? Yeah, but that's, no, uh, that's not my yet, personal answer, choice. Uh, hold on, answer the question. How many have you posted with N your boyfriend? Nothing. None. So you don't have a single photo on your Instagram mm -hmm. of you and a man. So when you post beauty on there, it looks like you are advertising to other men that you are available. That's exactly what you just said about a guy liking a girl's photo. Okay, but what about if he's not posting me? Is he private or? Public? Very private, low key. Yeah, he literally like has like, what, 20 followers or something. So what point are you trying to make exactly? How many followers do you have? Like 12.5k, something like that? I think that? so, yeah. It's not even in the same world. What I'm trying to say is, you're like, him liking a girl's photo is him telling her that he's into her and interested and available. You posting beauty sexy photos online, especially when you don't have a single post with your man, is you advertising to other men that you're available. Let me ask you this. The photos you post online, if you post with a boyfriend, do you think they get the same amount of likes? No. You know why you're doing it. Like, let's not joke. <laughs> and this is an incredibly dangerous stunt in Wyoming. A woman taking a selfie standing right next to a bison in Yellowstone National Park a couple of weeks ago. The person who took the video says they were in disbelief. They say the woman could have been gored. The animal likely would have had to be euthanized through no fault of its own. The National Park Service advises people to stay at least 25 yards away from bison, warning they are unpredictable about an injured people in the park more than any other animal. Mm. Ridiculous. Thank Silly. You. I don't even know what mm. to say. All for the sake of Instagram and some likes. Idiots Incorporated. The one that I want to go out with, 
Probably number three because he sounds white. Damn, you guys are black. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. You hear that hunger clap? <laughs> You hear that hunger clap? And here's my thoughts, ladies. If God didn't want you to cook, then why did he naturally put milk and eggs in your body? <laughs> Feminism has made this... women miserable. Women were much happier when housewives were glorified. Yeah, I, what, I right, had a gotta... choice to be married, and yeah, I chose Tamara, not to. Right, I have a choice up. to have kids. You made a mistake. Tamara, we'll give you the last word. Go ahead. I think that your guest here is doing a disservice to all of the viewers to and to do, doing a disservice to America by saying that women, that I need to be married, that I would be happier would be at home. Happier married. That you're what miserably married just because no, I'm just ecstatic. having a I'm ring I'm trying on... to share my joy. I, you should see my little two-year-old. Not two everybody a, has a the same life pattern as you. Okay? I know it's the fall. And not everybody rest. wants it's to marry somebody in a, in a bootleg seersucker suit and go home to that. I don't want to go home to that. You don't have to go home to me. Go home to a hunk. <laughs> oh gosh. Jesus. This know. is absolutely disgusting. And Sean, I, you I should actually speak you up do. for the viewers today and I, let them know I that think, I think your daughter should have a choice. I think I think women do have a have choice. choice. Sean has nothing to speak up for because he agrees with what's being said. And you do have your choice. Just don't complain about the consequences of that choice when the time comes. When you said, this is like a year and a half ago, men want sex and peace and quiet. That was the most black peeling thing I heard because I'm like billions of women, three billion women on earth. And they can't figure that equation out. They're yeah, so wild. stupid. And they always want to cuddle and shit. And you have to do aftercare. So she doesn't call you a rapist after. But look. <laughs> if, if, it's facts. It's facts. It's not facts. These sizes are not facts. Women are not allowed to be bad moms, but dads are allowed to be bad dads. And then come back and turn around and then they'll be angels for the very little that they offer, you know? Yeah. And I feel like women are not allowed that same opportunity to be bad parents or to learn. I feel like women that are bad moms get more, like, hate. Because they're like, how could you? You're not, yeah, that's, you're, you're a yeah. mother. Are they really arguing for the fact that they should be allowed to be bad mothers without people holding them accountable to that fact? This mindset in america in the western world is a sickness it is deviant and we do not want it you're gonna show her twerking you're gonna show her with some heels on if she got a pretty face and none of that stuff you're gonna show nothing but a whole bunch of glamour shots it's gonna show you everything that they tell you that a man shouldn't want you should want me for my brain but all your pictures is angled to show your ass you ain't said nothing smart on here so i'm supposed to look at the ass be like this i wonder how smart she is there's something more to her <laughs> and I want to figure it yeah. out. It's ridiculous. Simply put, if it quacks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's most likely a duck. So if all of your advertisement says 304, I ain't gonna look at you and think angel. The notion of do not judge a book by its cover is a lie, which is why first impressions matter. So if Instagram and booty pics is your first impression, don't be surprised when we treat you as you advertise yourself. Well, that was fun. If you agree or disagree, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.